All right, so this is a Chuck Schuldiner uh, BC Rich Stealth copy. I bought it from AliExpress. Um, I got it for three fifty. Um, it looks the part for sure, but there are some issues and one major issue. I expected to buy this guitar and I expected to change out some stuff and get it playing like to good, like good playing order. But there is a major issue that it, it's bad. Um, so I'm going to start from the top to the bottom. Uh, so the headstock looks good. The only thing that is weird about it is that it is says an it says NJ series. Uh, uh, that's not correct. Um, so sorry about the crappy string job. I literally just threw strings on it because I was having issues and I noticed that and I figured a new set of strings would, you know, alleviate that, but it's not the strings even though the ones that came with the guitar wouldn't stay in tune these stay in tune better but that's the thing i'm going to get to next these tuners are crap and i expected to change the tuners out anyway but they will not stay in tune like at all so every time you play them or whatever they just there's so much play in them and they're so loose and you, you tighten them up as much as you want they're still the ratio is so off so it's just they're not good tuners. Um, plan on getting some mini rotomatic locking Grovers. Um, I know they didn't have locking on the uh, original one, but I like the locking tuners because it's just so much easier to change strings. Um, the nut slots are cut too deep. That's going to be replaced as well with a Tusk XL nut. Uh, they're nice. Um, Self-lubricating nut. They're, it's, I don't know why you would get anything else. So the fretboard. Specifically, I asked for ebony fretboard, pearl diamond inlays, and jumbo stainless steel frets. They did accommodate that. The only issue is that this fretboard was extremely dry. And you can't see it in this light. It was extremely dry when I got it in. Uh, and understandably so. It's coming from China, across the sea, and all that. But this fretboard just drank up all the guitar honey I put on when I was changing the strings. That's something that I could fix fairly easy. Could lubricate the fretboard, condition it, and it should be fine. Also, the other thing is that <laughs> this fretboard stinks. Like I was, I was um, wasn't sure about. I know I opened this guitar and I started smelling a really bad wood smell, and. I, it was on my clothes. It was on my hands. I had to change my shirt. Um, it was making me sick. It was giving me a headache. Um, I was half tempted on taking a, another shower because of it. Um, it, it was just bad and it's, I could still smell it, but I'm kind of used to it now. So it is what it is. But yeah, this fretboard stinks. Uh, uh, not a huge issue. It'll it'll alleviate in time. It's just disgusting. So, 24 jumbo frets. Pretty sure the scale length is off, too. I think it's a longer scale length than the actual guitar. Um, the actual guitar was a 24 and 5 8 scale length. I'm pretty sure this is a 25 5. No huge loss there. It doesn't, you know, that's okay. It doesn't really matter. I'm not trying to pass this off as the original. So, I'm just trying to... Because I used to have the Korean model back in the day. Um, just trying to get it because I'm not paying a couple thousand dollars for a Korean guitar. It's just not happening. These guitar prices are ridiculous nowadays. So I'm not trying to do that. But probably should have because this guitar is not worth what I paid for it. Even at $300. So the body. It looks good. It looks really good. Um, nothing wrong with the shape looks the part completely like you wouldn't be able to tell the difference if you weren't completely looking so going down here you can't really see it on camera but 
there is a line right here. There was a neck pickup cavity in this at one point. They filled it in and they painted over it. Not a huge deal. I'm not really worried about that. It's just funny how that how that works. You can't really feel it, but you can see the line in the paint. Um, this pickup is microphonic. Doesn't sound horrible, but it's getting swapped out for an X2N. And I fully expected to swap out the pot, the pickup, the bridge, get a fret level, the tuners, and then the nut. That, that's, I expected to do all of that. Um, the bridge, I, I haven't really like noticed any problems having to do with the bridge besides intonation issues, which I haven't, I've been lazy and I didn't want to do it. And plus I just got the guitar yesterday. So, um, I might, that's might be the last thing I swap out. Definitely swapping this out. Tuners are the first thing to go and the nut. Um, but it all depends on what the luthier says because I may not be able to get it in playing condition because of the issue that I'm going to uh, let you in on in a little bit. Uh, so overall, it doesn't sound horrible. It's just weird. Yeah, and, and I forgot to mention that there's there's buzzy notes. Uh, the 11th fret, that's the 13th. The 11th fret these five strings are buzzing horribly. The 14th fret on the E string is buzzing horribly too. And down here, some of these notes are buzzing horribly. There's no dead frets and nothing chokes out from what I understand or what from what I can tell, but the buzz is really bad. Like, I don't know, like, like see if I can. not doing it now oh no no hold up it's the uh yep that's it sorry about the camera dude <laughs> it's it's hard to do this by yourself sometimes but um so yeah i expect to get a fret level on it anyway it's not really that big of a deal the neck profile is decent it's a little chunky but it's comfortable uh, the original guitar was supposed to be a neck through. I'm pretty sure this is a set neck. I'm actually positive it is because of the issue that I'm going to let you in on now. So, you may be wondering why I have this hanging off like this. Well, let me show you. The body is flat on the desk. Nothing underneath of it, it's flat on the desk. You see the way that neck is bowing back? That is an extreme angle. That is a huge issue for me. It's an eyesore and it, it's causing intonation issues and it's causing, I'm sure, tuning issues. So that's the next straight. See how much lift that body has? Like it is, it is an ungodly amount of neck bow back. And that's a huge issue for me. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it in playable condition because of that. So far, the action is not low by any means. It plays okay besides those buzzy notes. Uh, I'm going to take it to a luthier local and see if he can get it into working order. The only thing I'm probably going to have him do is look at it and tell me if I can, if it's possible and I want him to fix the bridge to where he puts some glue or whatever to keep it flush with the body and fret level it. And I'm going to get a nut for him to put in and cut out. Everything else I can do myself, but I would rather him straighten it out and do a setup and intonate it and everything like that. I can change the pickup out myself, the pot and the tuners. Bridge, I think is the last thing I'm going to... Uh, change out because I think it think it'll work for right now. The neck joint is okay. It's all right. That is a huge cavity though. Pretty sure that wasn't a huge cavity on my chuck that I had um, years ago. But overall, I had a made in China sticker on there right there. Let up focus on there. Focus. There you go. Made in China. <laughs> made in China. So Overall, if the neck wasn't 
bowed back. I would be more okay, I guess. I did apply for a refund, and I'm not going to give the seller's name away, but I'm still not against replica guitars. Um, never have been. With the prices nowadays, not everybody can be expected to put out money for the real thing. If you can get something that looks like it and you want to fix it up, I don't see a problem in that. I really don't. Now, regardless of what you, of how you look at it, it is, it is not exactly right. But I, I don't really, you know, most of these companies like BC Rich, they've been going down the tubes for a little bit. Might be making good guitars now, but when they actually have them in stock, <laughs> um, I don't. I don't see a problem in getting replica guitars. As long as you're not trying to pass them off as a real thing and sell them, then it, there's no shame in that. Uh, I don't, I'm not shelling out a couple thousand dollars for, cause I want to get dime guitars as well. I had so many of them and you can't get them anymore because Dean's not, not making them right now because of the lawsuit and Washburn, they're getting harder and harder to come by at a decent price. So yeah, I don't see a problem. I'm just saying buyer beware. You may get something like this. I did not expect the neck to be that off like that. Um, I might be able to get it in playing condition. And if I can, great. Um, if I get my money back, awesome. Because I already applied for a refund. I'll use that money to upgrade the guitar and um, hopefully fix it. But all I'm saying is buyer beware. And yeah, it's, it's a nice guitar. It's, it looks the part. I mean, you can't really see it because it's a black background, but it's a nice guitar. It really is. Other thing is, it's very light. When I got the box at my front door yesterday, I was questioning if there was a guitar in it because I was able to grab it with one hand and pull it in the door. And I was like, oh, you know, when I got my ghost horse, um, I had to use two hands. Of course, there was a case with it. And then, like, this one is heavy. You know, it's it's heavy. And this is a cheap one that I bought. Um, and this is actually my favorite one to play. It plays great. But, yeah, just buyer beware. I don't really think there's an issue with buying replica guitars. I really don't. Everybody wants to be on their high horse about it. Like, oh, it's a forgery. Oh, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. If, if you... Not everybody has the pro. Not everybody has the money or the disposable income to shell out three grand on a fucking import guitar. So I don't care. Buy all you want. It's a free country, and you know China is pretty much a lawless country when it comes to that stuff. <laughs> I mean, as long as it doesn't get stopped by customs, you're golden. Uh, so yeah, that's my two cents. Uh, I would uh. Definitely beware about buying stuff. I would do research. This seller was a little shady from the get-go. Um, so I'm not going to get into all that. Um, but if, if you know, if anyone's interested, I can post a video of my experience on there. Um, I don't have the conversation anymore. Uh, but I can kind of retell it to the best of my knowledge. But that's if anybody's interested. If not, oh well, that's cool. Just buyer beware. Uh, yeah, so if you get these, be ready to <laughs> shell out a bunch of money on mods. Okay, I've rambled enough. Thanks, guys. See ya.